hey welcome back to my channel so um again i am talking about weight loss surgery i was sleeved on 12 5 and i think i'm about 16 days um 16 days out of surgery so um definitely if you want to join the journey click subscribe so um let's just get into it not one to to beat around the bush so i am down about 28 pounds now so that's really exciting um <clears throat> again i started on uh, around thanksgiving with my pre-op liquid diet and then i moved to the surgery and then after that the post-op liquid diet and that was just broth and um broth more broth it was pretty much just broth and water and the protein shakes which i'm exhausted i i never want to drink a protein shake again so hopefully like when this part is over i can start supplementing my protein with like whatever protein comes in food so um but i'm really excited again i did like i said it's 28 pounds so that's not bad for a couple of weeks um that's definitely more than i've ever lost in three three weeks yeah three weeks so far so averaging 10 to 8 8 to 10 pounds a week which is pretty good uh right now i'm on the full liquid portion of it which means i can have milk uh really runny cream of wheat um uh, crystal light things like that so i'll post some more some more of that stuff that i that good stuff that i can drink and also just want to share with you guys a couple of things that i did not know previous to the surgery so one of the things which i think is pretty gross is that like you get sweaty more often i don't know if it's because you're drinking a broth and your body's detoxing and so all that is coming out of your pores now but um i i kind of have to shower like every day if not twice a day because i'm like I don't know i just don't feel as fresh as i would have before the surgery so hopefully that is just because you're mostly drinking liquids broth and tea and protein shakes and all of that is basically your body detoxing and pouring out all the bad stuff so um that's one thing that's actually pretty gross i can't believe i just told you that but um yeah so if you're thinking about doing the surgery just keep that in mind and i know everybody's body is different but um i wish somebody would have mentioned that to me too because that definitely could have been a deal breaker uh the other thing is definitely dry skin like oh my god like i usually use um <clears throat> something called body body do it's by like pure romance and i just spray it on in the morning after the shower and i'm good to go skin's so soft it's, it's wonderful but now i'm mixing like that plus baby oil gel plus cocoa butter and just constantly moisturizing because your skin does get very dry especially around the incisions and where they had all the tape and stuff on your body it's like it's really bad so i like to be soft and it's winter and i don't want to be dry you would think all the liquids you're drinking you wouldn't have such dry skin but um yeah dry skin is definitely a thing so get you a good moisturizer especially for your face uh the other thing is it is a lot of vitamins like i mean a multivitamin a b complex a iron a i don't know a c a d it's just a lot of vitamins to remember to take and then some you have to take twice a day some you don't take if you drink milk and it's just it's exhausting i'm not a pill person i never was um so if you're not a pill person and you don't want to chew the 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 vitamin because in the beginning you have to chew them or mix them in some water to swallow it you can't swallow a whole pill right away so if you're not into that definitely get liquid vitamins which is what i should have done and which i would probably do um i told my doctor that she was like well you don't have to invest in that it's only a couple of more weeks that you'll be having to chew and i was like mm, a couple of weeks too long for me so um i'm definitely getting liquid vitamins and if you're thinking about doing a surgery make sure you get liquid vitamins too um and i think that's pretty much it that i can think of right now yeah you'll definitely be exhausted of protein shakes real quick so get a mixture of them get at least two or three kinds that you can enjoy um bone broth to me is pretty gross but it's definitely high in protein um but now i can do 
full soup. So I'm looking forward to some butternut squash soup coming up, which is definitely going to make. Um, but other than that, it's pretty good. I'm enjoying the weight loss and the downtime. I'm a little bit bored, but I know that like physically, if I was at work, I probably wouldn't be making it right now. I'd probably be so tired and exhausted. Um, yesterday, I didn't even want to eat or drink because I just, I just wasn't feeling it. And it shows because now I have limited energy. So definitely stay up on your protein shakes. Definitely stay up on your water. Definitely stay up on your broth or soup or whatever phase you're in right now. Definitely just keep going, keep pushing. And um, the the work will show for itself. Now, when I move on to mushies, hopefully I can start like back at the gym. And then that will, will help because mushies add more calories. Um, so you can have like eggs and actually stewed meat as long as it's in the crock pot. But um, yeah, so definitely looking forward to that. <laughs> and that happens on Christmas, which is awesome because I can go and have at least something a little bit more better than uh, broth on Christmas. So it's pretty good. Yay to me. Anyway, happy holidays if I don't see you before then. But again, I will keep you updated. Click subscribe, click like, ring that little bell at the bottom if you want to be updated on the videos. And then um, I'll just see you next time.